When you open your Epson scanner, if you see this error message that says the scanner is in use or unavailable, please try one of these method. Method 1. Right click on the Epson scanner icon on your desktop. Then from these options, click on properties. Then this window will open. In this window, select the third tab compatibility and then here under the title compatibility mode remove check mark from the box towards this option run this program in compatibility mode for remove this check mark and then click apply then click ok now check whether your problem is solved or not if the problem still exists then try the second method to do it right click on the start menu then from these options click on run to open the run command box click on run then type here services.msc as you can see on the screen then click ok now the services window will open from the services locate for the service named windows image acquisition service ok it is here open it by double clicking then in this window under the general tab stop this service by clicking here stop and then from this drop down list towards startup type select automatic and then click apply then click start here then click ok then close this window if this method also doesn't work with you then try the third method to do it right click on the start menu and then from these options click on device manager then this window will open in this window locate for the device named imaging devices okay it is here expand it then you can see here the driver software of the scanner right click on it and then click the first option here update driver then in this window if you are connected to internet click here search automatically for drivers then windows will download and install the compatible drivers for your scanner if it says that the best drivers for your device are already installed go back and then click the second option here browse my computer for drivers in the next window click on this link then in the next window select a model from here and then click next then please wait until this installation will be completed once it says that the uh, windows has successfully updated your drivers click close then you will be asked to restart your computer click yes to restart your computer if you can't see this pop-up window then restart your computer manually after restarting your problem should be fixed i hope this video will help you thank you for watching this video by itech tips